I look bald. Today is wear a Christmas hat or like antler day because it's the last week before we go on break. So they're trying to make it like festive. So I had my Christmas hat and I had my hair down and it was bothering me so I put it in like a silly bun and then just put this on top and now I, I look bald. So today for lunch, I didn't pack anything for lunch, which I prefer, prefer to pack something for lunch, but I decided let me pick up food. So I was like, let me order ahead and save time and then pick it up. I go to pick up the food and they're like, oh, this is the wrong location. You need to go to this location. I picked the wrong address. And the other one is far away. And I already paid for it. So I was like, okay, let me just go there really fast. So I go and I get my food, which means I have a lot less time to eat it because it took like 12 minutes there, 12 minutes back. And when you have, you know, a pretty short lunch, that a long time to waste driving somewhere when the, the location I wanted is like right next to the school so I get back and I ordered sauce for my food like an extra sauce like a pretty large container and I get to the classroom it opened and spilled all over like the box that my food was in and <laughs> I was like oh my gosh <laughs> so I had like 15 minutes 10, no, maybe 15 minutes to like eat my food really fast. And then I was like, okay, whatever. I go out in the hall and wait for my kids to come in for the next period. And these kids are playing with a water bottle and they're like messing around and it falls. It hits the ground right in front of me and spills water on my jeans and all over like on my door and in front of my feet, like in front of my door, I was like, <laughs> and they were apologizing. I was like, just go, just go. I will clean it up. <laughs> Had they not been playing with the water bottle, that wouldn't have happened. But I'd like, it's, it's pretty much dry now, but I had like water on my pants and I had to clean up their mess because they had to go to the next period. But yeah. We're doing a fun assignment this week with paper towel rolls, or my advanced students are. So they're using paper towel rolls that I collected last year, so I had a bunch of them, and they're decorating them with paper, and we're gonna put Christmas hats on top of them. And it can be anything. Uh, one of my students is doing like Dory. Let me show you. Ignore my floor, there's paper everywhere. But there's this little penguin, super cute. But I thought that would be a fun way to use something uh, for a sculpture instead of like just throwing it away. These would have all gone in the trash. And they just have to do it all out of paper. That's the rule. And then we're going to make hats for them. Some students wanted to make their character like more three-dimensional. So they added like pieces of cardboard to it, which was creative. But I'm excited to see how these turn out. Tomorrow, I'm going to go on a field trip so I won't be in the classroom so they're not going to continue to work on them tomorrow but they're cute I like them this is the state of my classroom though there's paper everywhere there's paper all over the floor but it's okay because we're having fun I'm going to finally do my nails because this one is falling apart and it's lifted over here and this one is also lifted and I just hate them so I'm gonna soak them. I have my acetone warming up right here. I think I'm going to do a sparkly red because like to me red is Christmas. Like I don't really do red after the holidays so I try to keep my nails. I try to do as much red as possible before Christmas is over. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to get this done because they look so terrible. This color looks really pretty. I think I'm going to do this red. I got it from AliExpress for like two bucks. Picking up some Fujiyama for husband. We have such different favorite 
Chinese places. Like this is his favorite. He loves the chicken and I think it's kind of gross, but <laughs> he really loves this place. It's Wednesday and my camera is waiting for me at home. I'm so excited to open it and see if it's any good. Today I curled my hair. I feel like I haven't curled it in a long time, like a curling iron, but I'm actually, I like how it turned out and the curls, they held. I did heatless curls yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I was on a field trip all day and just, there was nothing really to film. But I did heatless curls and they fell within like an hour of like being at work. So I was like, okay, I wanna go to heat curls. I wanna go back to like using an iron and see how they turn out, but I didn't like them. I might cut a little bit more off the front, like make this piece a little bit thicker. I'm trying to decide. Today, my kids are having a Christmas party after school. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and open my camera because I wanna, put all the accessories on it and decide if I want to get a few more things for the camera or I might open it up and it might be trash and return it but super excited about that let me show you what my kids are doing they're almost finished with their paper towel roll um, characters but um, let me see this one is so cute little snowman uh, I have to say these two are my favorite. <laughs> it's Gus and Saul from Breaking Bad. I love these. They're so funny. Um, little penguin. So they they did a really good job. They're really creative with them. Some of them decided to go like three dimensional and add other things. Like hands, feet, ears to them. And then my students wanted me to make one to like be a part of their Hello Kitty group of like characters. So I made one too. I think this is, I don't know the name of this cat, but I made a little cat uh, to go with their characters and they want to take a picture of all the characters. It's like Coco Cat or something, but it looks like Batsy. So that was fun to make. One of the teachers here, super nice teacher. She gave me some cookies. These are, I think these are pistachio cookies. I think that's the kind of cookie they are, like the ones that are covered in powdered sugar. They're so good. They're dangerously good. I need to like take them home. And husband can eat a lot of them because I don't want to eat them all myself. There's, I've already eaten a few of them. They're just, they're so good. 